Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we're gonna do a quick look at the Storm Collectible Street Fighter V Akuma Special Edition, which is basically just Akuma with yellow hair and slightly different colored uh, armbands, or wraps. That's, that's about it. It's basically the exact same figure, but I know a lot of you guys are just like me and you like getting your variants, so we're gonna take a quick look at it. So let's go ahead and get it off the stand and take a closer look. This guy stands to the top of his head about 18 and a half centimeters, to the top of his hair about 20 and a half. And that's going to put him at just about 7 and a quarter and 8 inches. So, pretty decent sized figure. He's a little bit bulky, he's a little bit tall compared to the other Storm figures, at least the normal sized ones like Ryu and Ken. And so, before we get into anything else, let's go ahead and do a quick comparison so you can see the differences. It looks to me like it's a tiny, tiny, tiny different shade of gray, blue, black for the gi. Now this one I, I argued when it first came out and I still will argue that it's very much too dark. This should be a whole lot bluer. Uh, unfortunately, since it's not, it's almost identical to this one. In fact, the differences are so minute that most people probably wouldn't even notice it with the naked eye. Especially if they're just sitting on the shelf. They're very, very similar colored geese. The skin is definitely the same color. And so the only differences then we have are the, the sandals, the wrists, and the belt. The necklace and the hair. That's it. All the accessories are the same as well. So it's a little bit unfortunate to me that because this one is the wrong color, this one's almost the same. It would have been very nice to see a black and yellow version and then the blue and red version. So that's a little bit unfortunate, but you can see otherwise they are basically the same. Any variances in the skin tone I'm thinking are just uh, production variants. There's no actual, at least as far as I can tell, it's just way too similar to be intentional. If it is intentional, then I think that's uh, a poor choice because it's basically the same. And you'll notice like the difference between these two figures is a difference you'll see between like a shoulder and a bicep on a figure that doesn't have mismatched parts. So it's basically the same. Uh, he does still run all the same accessories. I'll show you those real quick, but again, it's the exact same figure. So you have all the different hands, the Hadouken, the fire that goes on his arms, the two different faces, the stand, the little peg to hold the fireball up, you know, the alternate gi with the kanji on the back. He's got it all, so it's the exact same figure in that regard. It's just the different color. So how is that color executed? Well, it's, it's okay. The belts look pretty good. The rope looks nice. It's got a little bit of shading here and there. It's a decent color otherwise. These uh, beads are fine. I mean, they're kind of like an olivey brown color, which is, I mean, it doesn't matter. It's, it is what they chose to do, and I guess it's probably accurate to the game. Still a little salty. That's a PS4 exclusive. Anywho, you know, it, it's done well enough. The hair has decent shading. They could have easily screwed up the shading on the yellow. They didn't. It looks okay, except up here, there's a little bit of orange on it. Where the heck did that come from? But otherwise, the hair looks pretty good. It's still that same soft material. It's the same figure. I haven't noticed any problems. The head still moves around very nicely, relatively speaking. I didn't notice any loose joints. Everything still seems to function okay. I know sometimes we get tighter joints or looser joints from iteration of figure to the next. This guy doesn't seem to have any of those issues. I swapped out the hands a few times. The wrist pegs don't seem to want to pull out like on some of the other figures, so that's a good thing. The hands are still nice and tight too. They're not. It's not like they're loose to avoid it. It actually functions properly. The hips still work okay. They're a little stiff going forward and back, but that's about the same as before. The knees all seem okay. The ankles, everything seems fine on this guy. So I don't think there's anything to worry about in terms of QC or anything like that. It's only a matter of worrying about if you like this particular look for Akuma and if you want it in yellow. So uh, you know, I'm I'm happy with it. I decided to collect the variants, except for a couple of the Ryu ones, since there's like a, a thousand of them now, but, you know, I think it's fine. If you're into this sort of thing, you're going to like it. And if you're not, then you wouldn't have bought it, and you're probably not watching this review, so I don't think you have anything to worry about. I think you'll be okay. Uh, one last thing I want to do before I leave is do a little bit of shameless self-promotion. Uh, I know a lot of you guys are aware of this, but some of you are not. I do stream at least three times a week. I'm designing a line of action figures, and you guys can watch me do that and have some input on some things, and we have a general pretty good time over there. I do that here on YouTube and on Twitch, so whichever one you want to join up or on both is fine with me. Uh, there are some... Um, benefits to the different platforms for various different types of streaming. Uh, we do gaming also, usually right after we do the sculpting, so we play some PUBG or something else. It's Right now it happens to be PUBG, but that's only because that's the only game that I enjoy playing right now. 
Uh, but we have some benefits as well uh, for that. If, if we get a chicken dinner, I give away an action figure. So uh, I've just started that right now. So that's news to most people, I think. And uh, if you guys are interested in that, then uh, you have to you have to be there. If you're there when we win, you are entered to win a, a, an action figure. So that's something I'm doing. And, uh, and then it's like I said, as far as the uh, action figure design, I do that definitely every every uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and the gaming comes after that. If you guys happen to have Amazon Prime, you can subscribe for free to my Twitch channel. You can do that each month. It doesn't doesn't stay connected, but you can do that each month, and that does support my channel. It helps me out a whole bunch, and it's free. So if you have Amazon Prime, you might as well throw that over there and give me a little help if you're so inclined. If not, it's totally cool. But that's it for the shameless self-promotion. There's the figure. I like it well enough. I mean, I hate the design, but the figure, it's not its not the figure's fault. So it's a good figure. If you like it, you'll if, if, you, if you like the design, I should say, you'll be happy with the figure. If you don't like the design, you'll, you'll be accepting of the figure and you'll be okay. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I have new videos up every single day. We talk about action figures, movies, TV shows, video games, all kinds of fun stuff. So make sure you come back for that. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And in the meantime... Keep collecting.